Hello, ghost hunters. Is this a ghost event or is this a ghost event? Stick around to find out. If you are like me, then you remember those early days of ghost hunting where players claimed that ghost events were things like doors opening or lights turning on or off. And if you had witnessed a ghost event as an objective, then you quickly learned those were not ghost events. There are essentially only two types of ghost events. The first is when the ghost appears or manifests in any way, even in shadow form. Many things may happen during a ghost event, but if you are witnessing one, electronics near the ghost should flicker or malfunction, just as they would during a hunt. The ghost may move or may stand still. The ghost may also do other interactions with the ghost event like turn off lights, close doors, change the lights to red, and it may even make a scare event sound at the end. The second is what I like to refer to as a scare event. While you will not physically see the ghost, you may see it in the form of a mist or smoke and then hear it end with a loud hiss. Ooh, that was the mist ghost event. So what if your ghost is unwilling to give you one of these things and you need to witness a ghost event? If you have one of these cursed possessions, you can force a ghost event to happen. If you happen to have tarot cards, drawing the devil card will cause a ghost event to happen. <gasps> if you happen to have a summoning circle, you can use this outside of a hunt to force a ghost event, although brief. If you happen to have a music box, you can activate it near the ghost to get it to appear and walk toward the music box, causing a ghost event. <laughs> so do ghost events lower your sanity? The short answer is yes. All ghosts drop sanity when they manifest, and if you happen to have a phantom or a yuri, your sanity will drain even more. This may lead players to think that the mist or smoke ghost event is safer, but this ghost event deducts 10% for the player who experienced the hiss or was the ghost intended target. So ghost events in general will drop your sanity a bit. While it is common perception that using trigger phrases will increase the chance of a ghost event, this is not true. Using trigger phrases will increase ghost activity or, in other words, interactions. Interactions are not ghost events. For example, lights flickering, doors closing, objects being tossed, mannequins teleporting, teddy bear heads twisting backwards, candles burning or blowing out, water turning on or off, and so many more things are not ghost events. So while using trigger phrases to encourage the ghost to be more active will result in more interactions, it will not increase your chance of a ghost event. Much like trigger phrases, smudging will not increase the chance of a ghost event happening, but will increase the ghost activity in the location. And what is more, the hunt is also not a ghost event. So how do you increase your chances of getting a ghost event if trigger phrases, smudge sticks, and the like do not work? Well, simply put, lower your sanity. Ghosts are more likely to do pretty much everything when players are at a lower sanity level. And this is true for the ghost event as well. This also, of course, increases the chance of the ghost hunting, so you better be prepared. Two other things you should remember when trying to get a ghost event. First, some ghosts want you to be alone and will be very stingy with ghost events and interactions if you are not alone. So attempt being alone to encourage the ghost to participate. And second, ghost events will happen when at least one player is in the ghost haunting area or near the ghost. Getting a ghost event to happen far from the investigation area is very unlikely. So get close, go insane, and be alone. Tell me about your most spooky ghost events. I share a lot of my scarier ghost events in my daily shorts. Some ghost events are definitely creepier than others. Let me know your creepiest in the comments below.
that a hunt? As for those first two opening clips, they're both ghost events. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and as always, happy hunting.